Hey guys, I'm Riz Grestar, and how about we play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass? So we are still in the Temple of Courage, as we left off last time. And, um, hey look, I got hearts! And one of the things I remember was at the temple entrance, there were, like, two stone tablets with a supposedly invisible wall. Is that like this? Except they don't know how that would work. These are the two tablets that I had assumed it was talking about, but... I don't know if, uh... If I'm supposed to, like, bomb this place, or if this is not the place at all, or what. But let's see if anything happens when I bomb that place. Nothing, okay, nothing happens there. So again, I thought there was a thing about, um... The two tablets, but I could be, I could be misremembering. It's hard to say, in general. Anyway, last time I actually died just because, you know, I gradually ran out of health as I was trying to do something. And that something, I do believe, was, um... Well, you see, there were a lot of Oxeroks, I believe they were. Or, you know, those... They were that kind of thing. I don't know if they have a different name because they weren't in the water, but they're the ones that shot at me. Oh, I hate the ones that have to shoot their butts. Or hit their butts with bombs. I don't know exactly how to beat those, but I don't like them. Let's go up here and see what we have. I think, yeah, this is the place... Again, might have used the wrong name, but this is at least what I was referring to. If I could just hit them, like, off the edge with the boomerang, that would be great. Oh no, I don't think they can go off the edge. In that case, let's get our bow back out and see if we can do some good work here. Okay, come on. It's such good aim last time. Good. Ow. Making progress, though. I need more. I can't see where you are. Come closer. I don't think I got anyone that time. Thankfully, right here, they don't pose too much of a threat because they're just standing there. At this point, I may as well grab a boomerang. No, it's a grab a boomerang. Dang it. Not only did I not get those rupees, but I wasted an arrow. Okay, just run past, take out these guys, right here. Oh, he has one more hit. Let's do it! Okay, good. Gonna grab this. Maybe I do have to kill them all, just in case that is the case. That I did. I did have to kill them all. And I got a bridge! Yes, go me. Alright, let's head out that way then. So I need more bombs, I need more arrows, I need to find more pots that are willing to help me. Boing oing, the number of treasures just left here is three. Three on this one? Alright, sure. Why not? On this floor, look at your map. Make note of it. There's one there. One there. One there. Cool. I think we're good. No, wait. I'm done. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Did you take notes? I'm going to race it now. Go ahead. Good. Let's break this pot. Get a heart. Or whatever I got. Did I get arrows? Oh god, I did get more arrows. I'm fine with that too. I only wanted a heart because I figured it would only give me items once I was full health. That was obviously not the case. Woohoo! I didn't mean to fall! Darn it, I lost another heart. One down. Why no? Dang it! This time, we're going to get on it. It'll be great. Maybe I shouldn't have rushed that quickly over, but... There we go. Problem dealt with. Ah, yeah, see, I do want to go hit that eye first. Dang it. I guess I'll go in the middle one, the middle block, and actually see what that takes me to. This is odd. Just a place to stand? Has two of these little squares, I don't know what that means. Oh, actually, I guess this is where a treasure appears. Okay, so I hit both of the eyes and then a treasure shows up, right? But it's not necessary, it's just if I want treasure. That's what I'm going to assume. And I'm ready to take my shot. Yeah! Yes! Treasure appeared! I was exactly right. Okay, let's go take it then. And off the platform. No! Well, I'm here. I guess that's what matters. 
You got a power gem! It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Stored in the collection screen for now. How many of those do I have? Collection. Eight power gems. So I'm close because you need ten in order to go to the fairy spring thing. You know, the spirit found. I don't know what it's called. And then you could upgrade. I could upgrade my power fairy, which was called Leaf, I think was its name. Yep, yep. So that's pretty cool. Let's run through you. Oh, that's one of... I don't like that laser eye thing. Sweetie got more bombs. And I got something else. I assume more bombs because I don't think my arrows filled up anymore. Oh, wait. Can I make this? I mean, I knew I could make that jump if it were a jump, you know, like, to make. But I didn't know if it was... Okay, he didn't see me. I didn't know if it was going to be one of those where it would just have me walk off the edge instead. Okay, yeah, let's bomb this. I think I see what I want to do now, though. Now that it's bouncing back and forth, I need to trap it by pushing that block. Yeah! Okay, so it's just a matter of getting over there. Oh! You see? Didn't let me jump that time! Because he attacked instead. And down. Ha! Oh, wait. Except now, how do I get there? Never mind, we'll pull you back. Okay, I have another idea now. So let's go and do that one. Now that it's bouncing just back and forth there, I'm just going to keep pushing the block along in front of me so it acts as a shield. Yeah. Just gonna gradually tighten it in there. Oh, look how stuck you are. You can't do a darn thing. What a shame. Okay, well, I got two of the three. Ooh, you got a regal ring. It was passed down over generations of royalty. I assume that's just like the rock plume and the Goron amber and things, where it's just you could sell it for cash, but hey, I'm fine with that. So there's one chest left here, so let me erase these. Because I got that, and I got that one. There we go. One more chest on that floor, and then we're good. No more chests to worry about at all. Oh, there's another. You, sir, are a nuisance. Ow! Alright, you know what? We... We charged through with great determination, and we succeeded in the end. Okay, that door is down. I'm just gonna go down here now. I assume it was just a shortcut, but let's see what I can actually do at this point. I assume I'm gonna want my bow. Um. No, dang it. I was first trying not to waste an arrow, and then I was trying to run. Instead, I wasted two arrows. That was very bad. I don't know how to, like, put it away without shooting an arrow yet. Maybe B will cancel, but when I'm already using the stylus with this hand... I don't know, it's kind of awkward to have to do everything else at the same time. What about a boomerang now? Let's pass fire from this to this. And then... Wh wow! Really? You jumped off the edge? On two of them? Yeah, okay, I let all of them. The spikes are down. Perfect time for me to leave this platform. No! Go off the edge! Thank you. I did not want to deal with that guy right now. Cool, so we got arrows. And let's line you up a little bit. We're gonna push him off this edge over here. There we go. No longer our issue. Ten more arrows? Sweet. I assume I'm gonna need to use arrows then. Didn't mean to fire two of them. Well, there is that thing. So instead, let's turn it. I assume I want to turn it twice more. I don't know for sure, because I don't know where anything is on this map, but let's try this. Yeah, that worked! Well, I didn't expect to get a chest. Which probably means I didn't do the right thing, I did a bonus thing, but hey, you got a wisdom gem! It radiates wisdom, but it can't be used like this. Store it on the collection screen for now, okay. 
In that case, though, yeah, I want to move this again. I'll have it pointing to the left this time. I think. Now let's try it. Yeah, that worked. Perfect. Oh, okay, no, it did, it did. Okay, cool. It looked different on my screen for a minute, like it hadn't worked, but it did. I was right still. Blah, 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 blah. You're so weird. I got a key! You got a small key! Use this key to open locked doors! Touch the door to open it, you can only use it once. Alright. Cool. Wonder if people let's playing this game have ever gotten lucky against that, you know, monster, because they actually were just talking and happened to make him, you know, like, fold his ears down and everything. I don't know! I think that'd be funny, though. I need stuff. Okay, are you just gonna give me arrows? Because at this point, I need health. Or bombs. Health or bombs! I have 20 arrows already. Let's see. To move the floating platform where you want, draw a path on your map. If it's moving on a path you don't like, simply redraw the path. Okay. It actually is gonna follow the path, okay. Well, I hit one thing. Can I hit it from this angle? Yeah, I got two of them. Let's redraw this uh, map or path now. Alright, so let's erase you. Yeah, this is gonna be a long path, but hey, you know, I think that could be good. Now I'm gonna be ready to shoot things, so let's do this. Just waiting for eyes, but I feel like I got everything pretty well covered. Obviously, I didn't get, you know, like the bottom right corner, but... Oh, okay, it didn't like that path. It didn't like that path, never mind. Let's, I, okay, I guess I kept running into the walls. I thought I had made it, you know, like, pretty clear, but I guess it's thicker than I was, you know, thinking. There. Let's see how far I go this. I think I was even closer to the wall this time, but hey, why not try it out, right? All right, we're still gonna be ready on this. I'm not too worried about wasting arrows at this point, because again, we saw, like, those three pots up top that are just determined to give us arrows. Absolutely determined. Hey cool, I actually got past. That's where I thought it might turn around because I was like too close to the wall. Now was that not where I was? It was. It's... Why didn't that count? Is it up, down, right, left again? Is that the thing? I don't remember exactly. Let's try up, down, right, left. So this is right, so I don't want to do that yet. I got the up one first. Time to hit the bottom one. Once I, you know, get back to it. Yeah, I didn't get an error sound. But it was up, down, right, left, I think, not left, right, so... At this point, let's actually just put this away. Let us erase all of the markings that we had. Erase! Erase. Okay. Now we want to go right, and then a loop around. And go left! Let's try that! I guess my markings were too close to each other, so now it's just going in a square. Dang it all. And for now, just go to the right. And when the time comes, I will fix it personally, and I'll just have it go to the left. I don't need to, I don't need to do everything, like, you know, all at the same time. Okay, good, again, no error. That's good. I'll just let it start to go back. Once I reach that point where it would start going to the right again, I'll erase the line and draw one to the left. No problem. 
right, so right here, let's erase this line that we have. And draw. Right there. That's good. Have our arrows out and ready again. Or a bow and arrow. And boom. Yeah, look at me being awesome. Ooh, it's a big chest. That is a big chest. Erase everything once more. And just send it back to the platform. Well, that's a pretty unique thing, having it, like, you actually draw the path of its, you know, travel. I, I think that's pretty cool. That only took us ten arrows. Okay, grab the chest. You found the boss key! It's a huge, heavy key! Okay, I didn't expect to find the boss key already, though. Tap close to yourself and set it down and tap far away to throw it. Okay. For now, I'm gonna throw you. Because I want to break you. Okay, got a heart, I got some arrows. Let's go! I don't know where the boss door is, but hey, I'll find it eventually, right? I mean, maybe it's to the left, because that's... You know, number four is supposed to be the last one you do, right? I don't know. Hey, I'll figure it out eventually. Do we really have to carry it all this way? Or am I missing something? Chances are I'm missing something, but, um... For now, I'm just gonna carry it all that way. Yeah. Why don't you give me a minute? I'll skip to where I'm back in, like, the main area. Will this count? Do it? No, darn it. I was hoping that it would, like... You know, stun him like the boomerang did, but it just squished him. Anyway, I'm at the point, um, where I'm looking now... To find the boss door. You know, as you might expect. Um, it didn't take quite as long as I had figured to actually get through here, but yeah. And I'm thinking maybe it has something to do with the tablets. Like I said, you know, like two of them being false or something, I thought. But I don't know where exactly that is. So I'm going to be looking around. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's really all I could say. This is, this is maybe a good spot to check. Oh no, this is up here. I don't have anything else to do up here. I'll gather these things first. Let's head back to the left. I want to head back to the left because that was the fourth. Where supposedly we should end our journey, right? Maybe? Oh no, it's hard to say. This isn't a thing, is it? Let's try a bomb here. Oh, between these two tablets! Like the stone tablets! Oh no, tablets on the wall! These tablets! Oh, I didn't understand what that meant until I saw those. That, yeah. You got a power gem! It radiates power, but you can't use it like this. Wait, so that's our ninth one, right? Ninth, yeah, we are very close to being able to get Leaf, like, his first... Her? I don't remember. Upgrade. Oh. It's easier to have courage to cross the void later if you know this path now, so... Yeah. I figured it out on my own, but hey, that would have been awfully convenient. Taking a lot less time. Well, let's see what this chest is. You got the conning tower ship part! Okay, go to the shipyard to customize your ship. Check the collection screen. I was very confused at first because I'm like, what is this? It's a ship part, right? If it looks weird, probably a ship part. Big bounce with big ears, a vulnerable to sound. What about you? Up, down, right, then left, okay. Order of the whole temple, gotcha, gotcha. Unfortunately, though, my thought of where the boss door was was, you know, behind the two tablets. So now that we actually found the two tablets, check behind them. And that clearly was not the place. I'm not as certain anymore about where I'm supposed to go. Break these first, just destroy all of them. I missed one. I got a rupee, so that's good. Got two rupees. Now it's dead. Let's pick up this boss key and be on our way. Uh, everything wants to hurt me. Take the key, quickly, go! Just get out of here! Wait, this isn't where I meant to go, was it? Maybe I'll skip ahead a little bit again. Just for you guys. Wait, so what happens if I take that gem back? I don't know. What does he have to say? Did he just tell me what treasure chests are here? Uh, the crystal needed here is the very same... What if I go and put this... Back? I don't remember what door that opened. Oh, that opened this down door. Do I want that open? Do I need that open? 
What happens if I put it up here, just to experiment a little bit? Then that one opens. And that's not too necessary right now, is it? I'm just gonna leave the boss key there for now, and I'll come back for it. For now, gotta experiment. Oh, this is just this place. I don't think that I need to do anything else here. Alright, let's move the gem back. And then check down those stairs, maybe? I don't know. I don't remember right now if the boss door has any sort of significant icon on the map. Like if I should be looking out for anything or not. I'll open this, I'll check down briefly. If it's not something down here, then um, I'll skip ahead again, just so you guys don't have to keep waiting. Let's see. Wait, oh, I actually think I do see the boss key now. Unfortunately, I don't remember how I got to that room in the first place. Or the boss door. It's, uh... It's this thing, right? So we need to go back onto the, you know, where I control the platform. But now, where was that door? How did I get to that door? I'm going to make an assumption that I need to get to that bottom bit on three. I, this is where I came from though, wasn't it? Like, did I just completely ruin everything by going back this far? Probably did. Let's try this. Go, 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 go! I have a key, and I was successful. For now. Oh, this doesn't seem to be the right place. This isn't what I wanted. Dang it, let's take these while we're here. Okay, I think I know where I'm going now, but just to save you time, I'll skip ahead again. So yes, what's really terrible about this is that I got the chest, like with the boss key, in this room. And then I left. What I was supposed to do, apparently, was take the boss key from that chest, and then get back on this little floating cube, draw the path to the boss door, and yeah. But, I will say that there is a bright side to all of this. Oh, wait, no! Wait, stop! 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 Hold on. I'll get to my bright side in a moment. Okay, the bright side was that if I hadn't gone back looking for the boss door, I probably would not have ended up um, finding that, like, the wall you could blow up between the two tablets. Because, again, I thought that that was just so that I could uh, get to the boss door, so... You know, yeah, it did take some time. Kind of stupid to me that I didn't recognize what that symbol meant on the map and I left. But, hey, it did actually end up being beneficial for me, so that's good. Ponder the grand order of the whole temple and your path will become clear. Well, I already did that. I did that without reading you, Stone Tablet. I just figured I had to hit the eyes in that order. See, I figured out the more difficult part without using any hints. Um, but the obvious part completely eluded me. That's fun. Okay. Well, I think that this fight is probably going to include arrows, since that's the, you know, the item that we got in this dungeon. We're full health now. Are you just gonna tell me the blue glow? Step into the blue light to return to the temple's entrance. Cool, I'm not gonna do that, but I think it's interesting still how you have to actually interact with the tablet before you'll be given that option. I don't think it's a bad thing, which is interesting. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to equip the bow. There we go. And we'll see what this one's like, I have no idea. Gotta be courageous though, I know that much. Oh no! It's Crake, Bane of Courage! Oh no, Crake. What? This is weird, the top screen just shows it from his perspective. I have to, like, figure out where he is based upon how he sees me. Like, I'm trying to dodge him, you know, but it's super hard when, um... There's one. Where is he? Where is he? I hit him once! I hit him once!
trying to hit the purple bits. Hey, he's invisible again. This is super weird. Okay, I got him. All right. I hope I am supposed to hit these purple bits. I'm gonna say yes, I am. I think I gotta do it once more so I can get rid of that last purple. In the meantime, I'll run. Break pots for, I guess, arrows. I, I mean, hearts. I wanted arrows. There we go. Got my arrows. Let's break you so you're not in my way. Okay, I got him. Oh, that gets tense. Again, it's kind of hard to like aim when you can't you can't see him, and just the perspective is completely different, you know. Well, there's his shell gone. Now I assume I need to shoot the blue. Maybe I don't have to shoot because he keeps facing me. Let's actually. Ah! I want to get my boomerang out. Oh! And I want to escape his grasp! He's just strangling me there, jeez. I missed! I missed! I missed! It's like he waited for me so the boomerang could actually have time to hit him, but then... But then I missed. You butt! You little crab butt! Pinching me at the last second to make me miss entirely. Now I need to find help. You might have help. that work? Okay, these crabs are super annoying. Okay, cause like, yeah, let me root! Root, root, root! What, because it was like constantly making me activate my shield? I don't know. Okay, at least I don't need to switch to my arrows to get his butt. I just have to like, I just have to run around him once he's stunned and hit him. Crap, am I out of health? Like pots? Oh jeez, I think I am. Go, 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 go! Uh, no! No, 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 no! This is bad! I need a heart. Give me a heart. Crap! I have a quarter health! I didn't even know you could get this low. Yeah, these crabs again, super annoying. No! Oh! And pinched in the butt to death! Super annoying, these crabs are. I'm not mad, I'm just annoyed. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back and do it again. Uh, I'm here. Really? You gonna put me back here? Why? Skip ahead. So it was weird. Not only did we start off like, you know, back there, but we also had to do that like, um, well first we had to beat the two bouncing thick shelled blue things, you know, we had to bounce them off the edge again, and then we had to use the boomerang, hit the arrow thing, make the arrow thing hit the switch, and then come back up. I don't know, seemed a little bit unnecessary just to get back to a boss fight that we already Almost beat. We almost had it, I'm sure. Another two times, maybe. But yeah, here we go. Craig Bane of Courage. I have you this time. I mean, hopefully. I can't say anything for sure, but... Oh! Okay, good. I was close enough on my aim that it counted. I've gotta be... Oh, I think I almost had him on the first time, but I did not. I'm surprised he actually lasted that long out of his shell. Or like that he stayed that long, rather. Ow! Oh man, I should have taken that opportunity. Ha! There he goes, okay. I didn't want to wait as long that time. Call me impatient. But that's just because I'm impatient. Come on. 
Did that count? No, it did not. I almost had him, and then one of his little crabs got in the way. That's what happened the first time, I think. So I'm gonna stick by at least, because that's what I genuinely thought happened. Yeah, go away. He was, like, right by me. But where? There he was! Better position here. Got it! Okay. So now his shell's gone, we just have to take him out now. Matter of getting his blue tails, you know. Okay. So let's run around. Slashing. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Go, 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 go. And my focus is absolutely this time just getting him. I'm glad to know now I don't actually have to, like, stun him, you know, in his tail. I just have to hit him with the boomerang at all. That makes it a lot easier. I mean, first, less time in the boomerang, so less time for other, you know, enemies to attack me, whether him or his little minions. And, um, you know, then it's not as hard to aim either. Here we get some more sand for our Phantom Hourglass, which is always, always a positive, you know? And then we get the Spirit of Courage! A little fairy or whatever. There we go. But just how much time was added? That I'm curious about. There we go. It never looks like it fills up all that much more. You got more sand for the Phantom Hourglass! Two minutes have been added. Fair enough. I got one minute though from just a chest at the bottom of the sea. So two minutes seems a little bit underwhelming. But I'll take it. You know, I'll take what I can get. What say you, oh mystical fairy thing? Are you white? Oh! Okay, cool. White fairy. You look just like me. What happened? Something seems weird. I don't know. Is that uncommon? Are fairies all supposed to be different colors? Ciela? I can't tell if I look happy or, like, really freaked out. <laughs> Just offering a hug. Something's odd, but you got this- is SEO talking? Spirit of Courage! Maybe now you can find the ghost ship? I don't know. Sure? What- what exactly was so odd about it, though? I don't know. Okay, well, hey. Got a chest. And in it, I got another heart container, so we're up to six hearts. You got a heart container! You increased your life by one and refilled your hearts. Yay, six hearts. Good. I'm gonna do a quick check around here, get all the pots that I missed. I don't need hearts anymore, give me bombs and arrows. I don't expect bombs because, you know, it wasn't a bomb boss, but arrows would be nice. I mean, I might be good after that last bit where I got ten, but just to be sure. Okay, I think we got them all. Running up now to the portal and then we make our escape. Or at least our exit, we're not really escaping at this point. We could totally take this dungeon on again. So, I already got in mid three, but er, I don't think I need the Sun Emblem anymore either. I'm assuming I won't have to come back to this. I mean, not the island itself, but um, specifically to the, the temple. Hopefully I am correct. Alright, but yeah, with that, let's jump into the water. No, let's, uh, let's carefully find our way down. Ignoring these things. Ignoring lots of things. Just to gradually make our way back to our ship. And then I believe it's straight back to, um... Murkay Island to get to the Temple of the Ocean King again, right? I mean, we could make a detour if we wanted to, but... I think as far as the story's concerned, that is the next step. So we'll hop down here. I don't remember actually if I could get out another way, but... This should work just fine. Move. Thank you. 698 rupees. I am so close to 700. That's how counting works. Maybe this is not the right way. 
Maybe I should I should probably just go back up and um, find a spot where I could jump down. Both of you are annoying. Go away. Take it. I thought I actually got him in time. I did not. Oh, I could jump down here. Okay. So do that. I'll find my way eventually. Oh, is this out? Where are we now? Yeah, okay, here we go. Cool. So, heading back to our ship. We got mail! Special delivery! Watch out, incoming! Hey, dude, what's up? This is a letter from Romana Somalia Island, where I am right now. <clears throat> Here's what it says, or he says. What does he say? Hello, my friend. How are you? I recently found my way to an exciting new calling, but I can't find the right words to explain it in a letter. So the next time you have a chance, stop by. You won't regret it. And here's a grand opening gift for you. Hang on to it, Romanos. You got the swim ring ship part. Cool. Go to the shipyard to customize your ship. Is this just an anchor replacement? I don't know. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Okay, goodbye, mail dude. Well, since I'm already on Lolita Island, I figure I might as well just actually rush back to his house. See what's up, you know? Let's do it, let's see. Alright, is that a game? Looks like a game, I don't know. Hey kid, when pursuing your dreams, what's the first step? I've decided to follow in my dad's footsteps and go the way of the adventurer. Oh, but it seems like my own first step is to make money for the trip. So, on that note, this is the shooting range, aha. You can play if you have a bow and arrow. It's 20 rupees per game, wanna play? Yes, of course I do. Okay, wanna hear the rules? Yes, I do, this time. Maybe not after. You'll have 70 seconds to hit the targets with unlimited arrows. Ghosts are 10 points. Hit them consecutively for up to 50 bonus points. Okay, cool. But if you shoot a girl target, you'll lose 50 points, so be careful. Here we go then, take your mark. Oh, here we go. I mean, there we go. We got one. Two. Three. I don't know what the girl one looks like yet. And... I wanna hit the girl. I haven't seen the girl yet, still. But now, I, now that I say that I have. I think we're doing all right, though, all things considered. Uh. At least I haven't hit. Like, you know, I didn't get... Ah, oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't get a ton of consecutive points, but at least I never hit a girl, and then I hit the girl. Let's see. All right, time's up! 10... 1040, I was about to say. 10,000! No, 1,040 points. If you beat the high score, I'll give you a special gift. Keep trying. Oh, but I get nothing? Just for... Alright. Well, then I'm gonna do it off camera, because I don't know how long it's gonna take, and I don't want to show you guys how many rupees I lose, so, um, give me a minute. So the second time, I still didn't beat the high score, but I at least got higher. I got, like, 1330, I think. And I got a wide pearl loop as my prize, so that's something, at least. I mean, it should at least, like, kind of offset the cost of playing this game once I find an exchange with the treasure hunter or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I got 1950! Oh, finally, alright, time's up. Did I just see that? You just racked up 1950 points! Heck yes, I did. I knew you could do it. You've got that lust for adventure. Here's the prize. Okay, you got the quiver, which I figured that's what it would be. Now you can hold more arrows. Check the collection screen. If you score more than 2,000 points, I'll give you something better. Are you kidding me? Dang it. I want that thing now. Can I show you guys in the collection screen what I have? Forget it, do they show up here? No, they don't seem to show up here. Um, yeah, I was just gonna show you like, well, you can see I have 402 rupees. I started with 700, so I've been playing this for a little while, and I finally broke like the 1700, 1950, which is great. That means though that if I had gotten one more thing, I would have like gotten the special gift, so I have to try again. I'm sorry, skip ahead again. Uh, 1950 again!
Uh, I was just about to shoot another one too. I guess I would have just made me 2,000 and he says I have to beat 2,000, but I don't know how serious he is about that, like how specific. All right, uh, let's try it again. I only have like three more attempts, so don't I? Let's see how many rupees I have. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, okay, just a few more attempts and then I have to call it quits. Ah, 2,050, 2,050 good. I have like 40 rupees left. Wow, 2,050 points! Amazing! Nice work, kid! You're a complete master of the bow! Oh, I got art container! Okay, that's actually... That was worth it for me. To me, that was worth it. I'm gonna break your pot, I don't like you. Now I'm leaving. Alright, so I got a quiver, I got a bunch of little treasures, I got a few ship parts, and I got a heart container! Did I mention the quiver already, the enlarged quiver? Pretty sure I did. Anyway, I did that thing, so... Time to finally leave this island after I spent so much time here and all of my money. Can I get any money here? A little bit. Well, you know what? 44? That's perfect. Hey, now when we go to Murkay Island, we can actually see... What? What? Oh. Oh, Grandpa! I didn't expect this. What are you doing here, Grandpa? I came here to tell you something very important. Oh, something important? Yes, young one. Now listen well to what I have to say. Okay, listening. Sierra, you are no ordinary fairy. <gasps> Among fairies, you are special. You are a spirit. What? A spirit? Oh wait, who's saying that? See how that I'm guessing? A spirit? What are you saying? I mean, I... I don't even have any special powers. There's no way. I understand how you feel. You lost your memory. The spirit you just... Oh, the spirit you just freed all the powers you lost. And it's the same color, got it, okay. It's time for you to return to your original form. Please bring me the spirit, Riz. Okay. Every time dialogue pops up, I have to pause and be like, okay, who's talking here, you know? Spirit looks like it's dead. Well? It's just gonna kinda meld with her, or? No, I will begin. There's music going on. It's mystical and magical. <sighs> Floating purple balls. <laughs> and so we wait. Is she still is she gonna change colors now? Or is she still gonna be white? Looks like she's still white. With a yellow tinge, Oh! Huh, how do you feel? I don't feel any different. But at the same time, everything is different. I feel alive. Well, so then you feel a little bit different. Yeah. Hey look, it's the other fairies. You're back, I've been waiting for this moment. Now you can join powers with us. I don't even know what to do. This is all so sudden. They look cute, all happy together, though. Follow your feelings. Focus with the other spirits. Focus. Deep. Or is that him saying still? Well? Riz! Oh no! Help me, Riz! I'll save you, Tetra Zelda! I just heard her, Riz. I heard a girl pleading for your help! Okay, and it's such happy music though, you know? She was calling out to you! That was Tetra! I know it was her! Huh? What? You've got to hurry! We have to go! Now! And again, happy music though. Ciela! That vision you just had! Your ability to sense evil is one of your spirit powers! You have awakened as the spirit of courage. Kind of surprised she's not like the spirit of wisdom, though. I mean, I guess she was brave to like venture off with us, but I don't know. 
you know, to have like a evil sensing power. This seems more like a wisdom thing than a cursing. I don't know. You might not feel all of your true power yet, but someday, no evil will be able to hide from you. Ah, oh, okay, she'll be like a paladin. Riz, come on, we'll show you the way to the ghost ship. I can feel it out there. Let's go. Yes, brisk nod. Oh wait, so I do do I not have to go back to the Temple of the Ocean King? I don't know. Yes, yes. You should hurry, Riz. No, I must have to. I got more sand for the hourglass. I must have to go back. Head straight for the ghost ship. Okay. Come in line back. Yeah, maybe a little bit reluctantly, but yeah. Old man, who who are you really? Did you just look at the camera? That I will explain when the time is right. For now, you must hurry to the ghost ship. Fine, keep your secrets, you old sea pickle. I'm just in this for the loot anyway. Well, all of us are aboard the ship. I guess we're shoving off here. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. Hey kid, I just remembered something brilliant! When we were chasing that ghost ship, remember how it vanished into the fog? I'll bet that ghost ship is hiding in the fog! Yeah, the fog! Lay a course for the soupiest fog you can find, Riz! Alright, though actually, I do want to call it here just because um, we've been doing some work around the house and it's been a little bit physically taxing and my wrists are actually like really hurting from holding the DS. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take a break. So with that, we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!